This game is T and is not suitable for kids. Okay, so apparently there is just one final thing left to do in the game that I'm going to explore, which is... In the Yukine route, there is a spell where you can get locked in the shed with Sunohara. Apparently, you can get locked in the shed with a lot of different characters. <laughs> and unfortunately, we, for each character, we basically have to do a separate timeline just for just to get locked in with them. There's very little overlap with which characters you can get locked in with in a single playthrough. So, I think it'll be a separate video for basically all of them. So, we're going to start with a new game. Now, the annoying thing is we have to follow the flags for the Yukine route, but we also have to follow separate flags in order to get locked in. So we're going to start by getting locked in with Nagisa. And I think we can also get locked in with Misai in the same timeline, so we're gonna just going to leave it there. Uh, we have to ignore her, unfortunately. Uh, we'll skip through class, why not? I mean, Kotomi, that doesn't matter. She, we can't get locked in with Kotomi, unfortunately. We have to go down to the courtyard, and we have to keep talking with Nagisa. Um... We're gonna escape because we can't we can't get locked in with Tomoyo and Nagisa in the same timeline. I'm gonna say I feel concerned, so that way we talk to her again. We're gonna talk to Misai because we're gonna get the we're gonna, we can get locked in with Misai apparently in the same timeline. Okay, we have to run to buy a sandwich. Whatever, Sunohara, you just eat on your own. I run off. No way. What? Why did is this different dialogue? A massive wall of bot. Okay, yeah. And now we meet Nagisa down here, and now we have to make her do it alone. Alright, once afternoon classes on Homer Mend, everyone but the students on cleaning duty leave for the day. Sunohara is sitting on his desk facing me. Huh? I wish I knew about something that fun. It's nothing. My stomach just just been acting up lately. Can't you figure that much out on your own? Oh, I feel bad for Sunohara, honestly. Yeah. Were you not listening to a word I just said? Huh? I'm saying that I feel like shit. He makes me grab my bag and shoves me out of the classroom. Okay. I don't know why that dialogue was different. Alright, we are going to skip class. Yeah, we'll follow her. Again, this doesn't actually matter. I return to the classroom, but Sunohara is nowhere to be seen. Taking the day off today? I head off to the cafeteria alone. As always, the front of the line, blah blah blah. Oh, here's Sunohara. We are going to waste time inside school. We're going to sleep. We meet Fuko. I guess we'll try talking to her, but it doesn't actually matter. Uh, we're going to talk to her. Uh, Misai. And so I climb the hill today as well, forever turning the cogs of my now shifting life. Man, the crazy amounts of decision flags that affect the dialogue. It's insane. There we go. We'll go to an empty classroom, we'll leave her, uh, we're gonna go sleep in the reference room, and here we meet Yukine. And we're gonna talk to her a bit more, and we're gonna go to sleep. Alright, we're gonna talk to Misai again. Uh, we're gonna go to the old school building, we're gonna go to the reference room. Alright, on the 20th, um, we're gonna ignore the guy, I'm sorry. And now for here, we're going to, we are gonna say, don't come again. And here... Uh, we'll wake up like a good student. It doesn't really matter, though. Okay, we have to go with Sunohara here. <laughs> Alright, let's see who's easy to reach. We'll go with Ryo. Okay, that must have been what I... Yeah. Yeah, we have to go with Sunohara there, obviously, to meet Yukane and do the spell. I think we've done everything that we need for um, getting Nagisa locked in the shed with us. 
Yeah, yeah, we have. Okay, so we're on, we are on route in order to... Yes, okay, here we go. So we're going to, yep, try the spell. Fine, so I just have to do it and become a lonely dude like you, right? <laughs> okay. Like, be liked, reject, be rejected. Like, be liked, reject, be, be rejected. Like, be liked, reject, be rejected. I do exactly as she says and chant the phrase. That's it, right? Just as I take a step out of the corridor, a pair of girls pass by me. Their eyes don't even meet mine. This is bad. I'm no Sunohara, but this sure can make you feel nervous. There hasn't been anyone to talk to me as I go through connected, the connecting passage to the new building. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hang on. Before I do that... Apparently there's a branch here. I'm gonna save here. And now we're gonna say try this bell. Okay. Gah! Someone just talked to me! Okay, just pretend I don't know her. Just pretend I don't know her. Hey, Nagisa! I ignore her and look the other way. Oh, wow! That hurts after doing the true ending. As she becomes all depressed and starts to walk away. Wait! My bad! It's me! Feeling sorry for her, I can't help raising my voice to stop her. Oh. Well, this sure is some coincidence. I see. It must have been hard on you. So this is the spell where the first girl who talks to us will be the one who it will be like our soulmate, I think. Yeah, I guess so. See if you can work up the courage to talk to other guys, too. <laughs> I'm not sure, but the spell seems to be working. Perhaps too well. Well, if you can talk to someone like me, no one else should be a problem anymore. Okay, well, if you see me again, feel free to talk to me. See ya! <sighs> well, for her, I guess I'm the only guy around she could have feelings for. Nah, there's no way an actual working spell could exist. Hi, Yukane. Alright. Uh, we're not gonna talk to her. That doesn't actually matter, but... <laughs> Do it! Alrighty. We are going to give it a try. I bend down to face the table. Then I make a jagged coin stand on top of one another. Now it's time to slowly move my hands away. Even after I've completely taken my hands away, the coins are showing no sign of collapsing. Yeah, I really did it. That's right. Speedy Keanu Reeves, Speedy Keanu Reeves, Speedy Keanu Reeves. Yes, the person I want to be locked up with. Who am I supposed to choose? It's sounding more and more like a curse. <laughs> The person who pops up right away in my mind is... Furukawa, not her. <laughs> Alright, we'll get locked in with Nagisa first. Furukawa would be the least troublesome. ka -ching! The instant I think of that, the coins collapse on the table. I've picked a hassle-free one, so nothing's gonna happen. 
Well, if it's her, the most likely scenario is me giving her some advice. I'll just go have some chit chat with her in return. Anyway, I've arrived at the shed just in case. She's supposed to appear here for some reason. I wonder what the chance of that actually happening is. Hi! Are we actually going to see how we get locked in the gym equipment shed? I hope whoever sold their soul to make that spell book is happy. W what a coincidence to see you here. <laughs> Want to see what's in the shed? <laughs> well, I'm not exactly doing anything here. But you know, like people say, you never know unless you try. So am I going to be locked up with her? Just what would it take for that to happen? It's impossible. Con. It's the loud crack of a metal bat. I turned to look in the direction of the set that the sound came from, just to see a line drive ball flying this way. Careful! I take Furukawa into my arms and push her forward. We both roll down onto the ground. Rumble, we're crashed! <laughs> Following a big noise, we're now lying down on the ground inside the shed. The door must have swung closed. It's pitch black inside. So someone really did sell their soul. I can't help thinking that looking at the current situation. Even worse, some heavy equipment seems to have taken a liking to me. It's pushing me down, limiting my movement. And I can feel the warmth of Furukawa's body against my chest. Her voice is so remarkably close, it makes my heart skip a beat. Apparently, in my attempt to protect her, I've instinctually covered her body with mine as much as possible. The way things look now, it's as if we're embracing each other. Well, coincidences keep piling up, and we ended up getting stuck in here. Nah, it's not your fault. Every time she talks, I can feel her breath on my skin. The same must apply to her. But more importantly, this is heavy. If only I could relax my hands and let all my weight fall on her. Say, can you try to find a way to slip out? She tries to move around, inadvertently rubbing my body at various places. Gah, her lower body is rubbing my private part. I can't let any funny physiological phenomena happen right now. <sighs> Furukawa is still trying hard to move her lower body around. I can feel her rough breaths on my nose. W wait, Furukawa! <laughs> Please, lie still for a while. Go ahead. Rub, rub. Stop! This is the lewdest scene in the game, apparently. Ah, I bet it would feel really, really good to embrace her right now. My senses are all filled with her pleasant scent. I want to bury my face against her skin to be completely covered in that scent. All the while, she's rubbing my lower parts. Ah! No! 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 No, it's nothing. No, wait a minute. Ah! That's right. Before coming here, I heard from Miyazawa about a method to neutralize the spell. What did she say again? I try to remember her words. I forgot about that. Right. First, I have to let my ass out. In this situation? Not to mention, I can't move my hands at all. Should I think of another solution? But this spell is too powerful. Will I be able to break free from it on my own? That would be impossible. I give up. Listen, Furukawa. Hi. Can you please... Hi. Pull down my pants? Oh, this is literally the lewdest scene in the whole game. Uh, hi. D what? <laughs> no, it's just a spell. <laughs> With it, we may be able to find our way out of here. To be honest, even I myself am well aware that it's a very unusual spell. But really, I'm not thinking of anything dirty. Yes, it's a spell that has been passed down in my family for generations. Thanks to it, my ancestors were able to make it through countless crises. <laughs> Poor naive little Nagisa. Yeah, please believe me. 
Yeah. Furukawa gropes over my lower body with her hand, trying to find the pants button. Her touch feels so good. Having finally found the button, she then proceeds to undo it, albeit clumsily. Pull down the zipper as well. Just what the hell am I saying? Someone's gonna oh, unlock the door, and it's gonna look very weird. Zip! I hear the zipper being pulled down. Okay. Now pull down the pants. Hi. This is so bad. She grasps the waist <laughs> the waistband with both hands, and slowly pulls it down. How to put it? Having your pants pulled down by a girl feels incredibly arousing. Thank you. All that's left is to focus on the chanting. Curses are just kappa farts. Curses are just kappa farts. Curses are just kappa farts. I chant the phrase in my heart three times. Immediately after I'm alone with the sound of the opening door, the sunlight makes its way into the shed. The curse has been broken. Oi! Quickly, pull the pants back up! Pull the pants back up! <laughs> Next, the equipment weighing down on my back has moved away. And finally, my body takes its about back its freedom. Please don't ask! The guy narrows his eyes as he looks at my... Pants. Welp! That was awkward! Wow! I didn't attempt to do anything! If she hadn't spoken up for me, I would have been suspended by now. Lucky, eh? That spell is so freaking scary. And yet somehow we're still on the Yukine route, by the way. Well, that was a thing! 